Hello everyone, I have this book, A Very Naughty Bear, by Baro Anand. It is about a young bear named Bablu, who is very naughty. And in the end of the story, he becomes famous in two ways. Let me tell you this story. Once upon a time, there were three cubs, an eldest brother, an elder sister, and a very tiny cub named Bablu. Pablo was quite weak. His paw had been twisted. But he was the bravest of the three of them. One night, he was very bored. He could not sleep. He had learned how to climb a tree and a very tall one. He gazed at the tree and then noticed something. The trees were swaying towards the moon. Then Pablo thought, if I climb and jump on the moon, then I will be famous as the first bear to jump on the moon. And so, when he climbed at the top, he realized that the moon was much too far away. He had just been silly. But that was when the tree came toppling down. Bablu's mother came and saw what had happened. There was a cut on Bablu and that was when a moonbeam came down and began to dance down on Mama Bear's paw. She used a pine needle to sew, sew a moonbeam upon Bablu. And so he was revived. And this, all the mountain bears wanted these on their fur. And so Mama Bear began to sew them up. When came the winter and the family had to hibernate, but Pablo didn't have hibernate. No, no, no. Not a naughty bear like him. Instead, he crept out and took some honey. Eventually, he was discovered by a girl named Gadev Karma. Later, the villagers realized that, a, that some creature had, had taken the honey. And so Gatin Karma told the head of the village who was her grandmother. The grandmother who was called Kunzan was loved by all. And so she went to the bear who promised that he would not take any honey. But then he took some apples instead and a bit too many of them. And so, and so, Kunzang went to the bear again. Why did you take too many apples? She asked. That's because I have to feed all the bears in the, in the Himalayas, he said. Very well. Why don't you just take three apples from each tree? Pablo agreed. Pablo agreed. But later, all the apples were gone again. Not a single apple seed either. At this, Kunzan had become a bit angry. And so, she went to meet the bear. But in turn, it was the bear who was waiting for her. And he had began to cry. What happened to our deal? Why didn't you take just three apples from each tree? Said Kunzan. At this, Pablo said, I don't know how to count. I take one apple, count one, but then I don't know how to count to three. At this, Kunzang felt sorry for this bear. And so, she took him by the hand and put him in a school. And on the blackboard, she wrote one plus one plus one is equal to three. And so, Pablo became famous for two things. For being the first bear which had a V white shape on his body and he could also count to three. And when the villagers grew more apples, you, you know that he only took three from each tree. Thank you.